morning ladies and germs and welcome back to the Maverick Baking Kitchen. It is yet again my favourite time of month and I don't just mean payday, I mean it's time to open my Degusta box. If you have been hanging around my channel for a while, which you know, let's face it, you, you probably haven't, you will know that I get this Degusta box subscription box delivered to my door once a month and I love it. Basically it's a big mystery food parcel full of snacks, meal ideas, drinks, cooking ingredients, all sorts of things. Anything edible, they will put it in this box. I have loved the subscription so far. If you want to get a hold of your own Degusta box subscription, I've hit you up with a link in the description box below. If you click through that, you can sign up and get your first box for a ridiculously good price. So I'm gonna stop mucking around because you know, we all have work to go to. And I'm gonna open the November Degusta box. Okie dokie. So, as always, with our degusta box, we get a little sheet of paper inside to tell us everything that is inside your box. And on the back, we usually have an advert or a recipe idea, but as always, this is a surprise. So, we don't need that. So, first product in this month's degusta box is this proper corn, perfectly sweet popcorn. That actually looks kind of cute. So this is made in the UK, it's suitable for vegans, it's gluten free, it's GM free, it's oh, hooray for dietary inclusion. The packaging on this is really cute and hey, who doesn't love popcorn? I can dig it. Next up we have, ooh, okay. We have these Filippo Berrio Formaggio Crostini or cheese flavored bread snacks. Now, Filippo Berrio, I believe, are best known for their olive oil. So this is a baked kind of cheesy cracker snack with extra virgin olive oil in it. Wow. They smell really good. We're on to a winner already. Third product in this November Degusta box, we have Ooh. Ooh, okay. We're getting fancy. We've got some Taylor's of Harrogate Rare Blossom Ethiopia Ground Coffee. This is to be used in a cafetiere. I mean, do we all have a cafetiere? So just a big bag of fancy ground coffee. We have two coffee drinkers in this house, so I'm sure this will not go to waste. Next up, we have... Ooh. We're going retro chic today, people. We have these Cadbury Picnic Bites. So this is a Cadbury Picnic in a bite form. So it's milk chocolate with caramel, peanut, crispy cereal, and dried grapes. Is that not a raisin? I think I've only ever tried a picnic once and that was in the retro chocolate review I did with my dad. You can find that a few months back on this channel. Um, and I'm pretty sure I liked it, so this is kind of exciting. These are definitely coming with me to work today. Next up, more sweet things in the form of, ooh, the Jelly Bean Factory Super Sours Gourmet Jelly Beans. Oh, that's such a satisfying noise. Okay, so we've got loads of sour flavors in here. Sour cranberry, grape, sour cola. I'm not super into jelly beans, but I'm sure these will find their way into my mouth if Sean doesn't eat them all first. Next up we have, okay, slightly less exciting this time. We have Calo Organic Vegetable Stock Pots. So um, vegetable stock, you just use it in cooking, in soups or things like that. Nothing too exciting, but it'll get used. We have lots in here this month. So this is Planter's Fruity Chocolate Crunch. It's like a trail mix. So this is a mix of roasted peanuts, jumbo raisins, infused cranberries, and milk chocolate buttons. That's pretty cool. I really like the packaging. And um, you can tell they've gone all out for Christmas with Mr. Peanut Santa over here. Trail mix isn't really as big a thing in the UK as it is in the US, but um, apparently now it is. I like everything in it. Can't complain. Next up, we have these Rivita multigrain rye cakes. Now, I do sometimes eat rice cakes and things. Um, it's good for when you're hungry, but you don't want the effort of toast. Nothing but whole grains and salt in them. 
not super exciting, but they're handy to have for lunch times, to have with hummus or with cheese or other things you like to spread on them. So yeah, again, not super exciting, but I'll use them. So this one here, we have what looks like a bottle of something. We have, ooh, this looks posh. So this is a bottle of Dalston's hand mashed fizzy apple. So it looks just kind of like cloudy apple juice, but I'm guessing it's also gonna be fizzy. Um, so it contains carbonated apple juice, three different kinds of apples, which is kind of cool. Uh, water, lemon juice, and antioxidant. So it doesn't look like there's any added sugar or anything like that. It looks very proper, very posh and fancy, and yeah. Sounds pretty good. This next thing looks like the kind of thing that's gonna be very, very good for me. Refresh cucumber and cantaloupe melon real aloe vera. I have no idea. Every time I see the words aloe vera, I always think of a Yorkshireman greeting a woman called Vera, like aloe vera. So this contains water, aloe vera juice, aloe vera pulp, Cantal melon juice, sugar, cucumber juice, citric acid, and some flavorings. So, uh, like, I don't really know what aloe vera is. I don't know what it tastes like. Um, let's not wait, let's just find out, shall we? Tell you what. I have tasted worse things than that. It kind of tastes mostly of um, the cantaloupe melon in there. It's very refreshing, very light. It is quite sweet. I don't think I can taste whatever aloe vera is, but um, yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna be really good for me, so I should probably just shop and drink it. And it doesn't taste terrible, so. Moving on from the weird drinks, we have something a little bit more familiar to me. And that is Weetabix Additions Apple and Raisin Flavor. So I've had the coconut and raisin variety of these and obviously I've had regular Weetabix and Oatibix. I'm a bit of a cereal fiend so I've tried most things. Um, so this looks pretty good. So on the back it tells us to delight our senses with a nutritious breakfast that's packed with delicious apple, raisins and warming cinnamon ensuring temptingly tasty goodness in every bite. I wonder if they have a money back guarantee on that. I like Weetabix, it's a nice, quick, easy breakfast and it's probably pretty good for you too. Who knows, who cares? So that is just about it for the November Degusta box. So as always, the little sheet that came with it does tell us what everything inside the box is if you can't really tell and it tells you the price of everything. Like for example, this box cost me like no more than 12 pounds and this bag of coffee alone costs £4.50. Like that just shows you how good this box is for your money. Quick recap of the load of food that we got this month. We got the Weetabix apple and raisin. We got the weird aloe vera juice. We got some cloudy fizzy apple juice. We got the planters fruity chocolate crunch trail mix thing. We got these callow rye cakes. Super sour jelly beans. We got some vegetable stock pots. We got some picnic bites, which are coming with me right now. We got some posh coffee. We got these lovely little cheesy kind of crustini bites. And we got this bag of sweet popcorn. This box is loaded this month. And even if it doesn't have a theme, there's some great stuff in here and a great mix of things. Again, I think I only really recognize about two or three of the products. Everything else, if not brand new, is new to me. I love trying all the new products. As I said, if you want to get your own Degusta box subscription or just a one-off box to get yourself a mystery parcel of all these foods that you'd like to taste that you might never have seen before, I've left a link in the description box below where you can do that. I've also left a link in the description box below to my blog and my Patreon page where you can give your girl a little extra support. 
Thank you as always for watching guys. If you did enjoy the video, hit the little thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, you know what to do. I'm super excited to post another couple of fun food reviews I've done recently and get into some really good Christmas food reviews. So until next time, see you later.